I'm Sarah Khan. I am a co-leader of our local chapter of Girl Develop It. Girl Develop It is a national nonprofit that provides um, technical education for women. We do coding classes. We do social networking events. Um, we try to connect women with jobs and technology. And we get a lot of email. And let me see if the clicker works. There we go. OK. Um, so one of the questions that we get asked a lot is, how do we get more women to come to our events? And uh, the thing about that is women aren't a monolithic group. Women are people, and they have different reasons for doing what they choose to do or not to do. Um, but pretty much the only thing we can do is encourage them. If you want more women to come to your event, make it friendly. Um, and so I'm going to go over five things that I've learned in the, my two years being a co-leader. They've worked pretty well for us, and hopefully they could work for you too. Okay, so the first thing, this seems like it should be common sense um, to make sure that your event is in, a, in an accessible space, but with tech meetups, sometimes they're in old conference rooms and upstairs and places that are strange or hard to get to. And accessibility also um, includes digital spaces. It includes um, things like letting people know that they can opt out of having their picture taken and posted. I want to give kudos to All Things Open for having such a prominent and excellent code of conduct. Basically, having a code of conduct just says, this is the community that we are, these are our values, and we will enforce them. And um, that can encourage people to come participate. Another thing you can do is to branch out beyond the usual suspects. As tech people, it's really easy to think that once you've posted something on Twitter, everybody knows about it, and that's not necessarily the case. Um, for Girl Develop It, we've had great success in reaching um, underserved communities, and we've done things like um, partner with community colleges and post to uh, library bulletin boards, and there are people who still read paper and print media, so just try to think outside the box and reach out beyond um, the easy, easy usual suspects kinds of things. And going along with that, build a network with uh, community organizations and organizations outside of technology. Um, reach out to community colleges and places where people who are trying to come into technology through a non-traditional path may be coming from. And they, um, there are people out there who have grant money, who have a stated goal to get people into tech, and there's kind of a, there can be kind of a disconnect between the tech community and people in traditional education who are trying to get people into technology. So finding ways to bridge that gap is really helpful. And last but not least, um, studies have shown, I don't have the citation for the exact study, but I know that a study was done, that um, if you invite somebody to come back or to come participate in your event, they're more likely to come and do it. Go figure. Um, I know that I personally have um, attended events in the past where I may have felt a little out of place, but when somebody from leadership reached out to me and said, hey, we noticed you were there and we were happy to see you, we'd like to see you come back, then I thought, oh, okay, well, I belong here, I can come back. It seems really simple, but it works. And I'm running a little early, so that's good. We'll get some time back. Um, Girl Develop It, um, we have a booth downstairs. We'd love to chat about this stuff. Um, you can find us on Twitter. You can email the leaders at rdu at girldevelopit.com. And we run all our events on Meetup. So if you want to get a list of classes and events that we have coming up, find us on Meetup. Thank you. <laughs>